welcome back people another video firing them out this week dean has made a star find again again he says again but you know what i mean it's me usually me and chris but he's done he's done a good one i'll give him this one i at home i had a little lad though so there were no excuse i weren't scared yeah and he's out facebook marketplace strikes again or ebay. ebay or ebay strikes this time let's have a look what is it dean you're gonna tell him no get him show it Transit Custom, 15 plate, suspected turbo gone, but it doesn't sound too bad, does it, at the minute? No, no. So, I think it is a turbo, I don't think it's the bottom end. And it's grim reduced, full tank. It is, got a full tank of fuel in it, nice and clean van inside, and it's straight in it. It's a, a nice straight van. It shows they are about, like you say, Dean's permanently on this. He's glued to his phone usually, and he's like, say, but always on these buy and sell sites and stuff. And they do come on, they pay off. So he's, he's done a good in here. Yes, boys and girls. So we're going to get it cracked up now. Delta. Take it off the van nice and steady. It does start. And we'll just uh, have a quick look around it, Eddie. Yeah. What do you reckon? Are How you... are you liking the new videos every every day? <laughs> new enough this week? Yeah, no chance. Smashing them out for you guys. Try and get one, get up one on today and. Uh, if help comes in tomorrow, we'll might get on in tomorrow. Yeah. Full week of them, they're loving it. <laughs> non stop. Non stop. Yeah, it looks a decent little thing, this. Good find. Another reason the chap didn't spend any money on it because he's bought a new van. He works in Manchester a lot, so the. And the clean air zone's, zone's coming in. The clean air zone's coming in, all that carry on. I think these will be alright in the clean air zone. They're, they're new enough I'm for it, I think. Sure, but yeah. but it's only six, year, six years, ten months, it's said. Is that what it is? Yeah, so, so it's definitely worth. Uh, sorting out oh yeah it is up on the miles look it's done 192 but they're it, well looked after and serviced yeah old transit vans have done time out it's a bit stiff. stiff like chris this stiff it morning no, oh no you've been open but they are stiff we'll have a good look around here i'll give you the camera now and we'll get it on good morning people so how are you chris here are you you're right there pardon no, I am. Oh, no. You're a good mate of ours, aren't you, Chris? Say yeah before I beat you up. Of course I Say am. Say yeah before I beat you up. Yeah. Eh? Yes, we do all work, Luke. Yeah? Right, boys and girls, we're going to get this off. Well, there you go, people. It's on. It's got its original cat on it. 1.6. Shit, I told for. Just have a quick look. It's a dirty one. So I'm not going to be rooting so much with this one. Oh. Oh. Get all them. Out at window, wouldn't you? Air guitar. Nah, not even bother rooting it. It's disgusting. This one. Oh. Anyway, off to where we are now. How you doing, Dean? Hey, boys. Oh. Off to EMR. Right, people. I'll get this on charge. Back with you soon. Right, people. We're back at EMR. Man, How's it going, everyone? Man Dean's it, man. Look at that there, that's an unusual one, isn't it? Escort van pickup, been wading. And if you ever wonder where your old shopping trolley's come to die, this is the place. All them on there, could steal that. I think Aaron's just fixing grab, isn't he? Messing about greasing it up, boy. Greasing grab. I'm gonna get his forks off now. I don't want to give us a guess what the cat's gonna be worth on it. Who you reckon, indeed? 1.6. I reckon it's gonna be worth about 85 quid. 85. I'm gonna go for 64. We'll see you in a minute anyway, so oh yeah. Right people, we're back at the uh, farm where we're picking this car up from. Ford Fusion, diesel. Clutch gone. Clutch gone. What an absolute belting place. This has been mine and Dean's dream pad this, wasn't it? Mm. All these yeah. units, all the room for activities. <laughs> be ideal on here, a couple of fields. No, it is, it's a belting place. It's only on a doorstep as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's a cracker. Right. We'll get this put on in a second, wait for Owen to come out. So, paperwork out, then we'll get it up back. Winch job, isn't it, this? Yeah, put it underneath. Underneath and drag it on. Right, so, might even be a fixer up here. What do you reckon? It looks quite it's, clean. See, we'll check mileage on it, yeah. It's, it's mileage, diesel, isn't it? So. Diesel. If not. Cheap cars are hard to come by at the minute. Yeah, no. Might so. be able to sell it to one at Breaker Lads. Yeah, someone will buy it. Right, back with you in a second. Well, people. It's Wednesday now. We didn't do much yesterday after picking up Fusion up because the weather was absolutely crap, weren't it, Luke? Dog Tanyon. Dog Tanyon. Um, so today we've sold the Fusion to the 
what they're called, John. John at the Peugeot Breakers. And uh, Colin, and going to dismantle that. It's got a 1600 diesel engine in, so. It's the iron, isn't it? And we picked a, we're going to go and pick a 207 up from Combe. That's another one John's bought. He's picking that up this morning. Um, I've also got a Peugeot box I'm going to pick up and a sleeker shell. We have. But he wants the wheels back off that, doesn't he? That's certain cold. He didn't have a cat on the exhaust of that sleeker. Yeah. Unless so. you've took it off. Yeah. Parcels so that, have sold. Yeah, we've just sent some parcels off. But my eBay's been struck off. Because I didn't verify my account or something. So all, everything I had on eBay has gone. It's been took off for five to five, seven days. Which is a bit of a ball ache. But um, it's getting, the issue is getting resolved. So we're back on it soon. Um, cars are a bit quiet at the minute, aren't they? Yeah, very really. Uh, we're just going to keep advertising. See what we can find. So... Right guys, we're gonna get over here now. We'll, get, we'll show you a lot in this. See you soon. Right folks, we've just dropped the uh, fusion off over at John and Collins. I just thought to show you these, you let me have a look at these two old 106 rallies. This has got I think he's on about restoring one of them out of the two, taking all the good bits off one I think. But then like I say, it's what you don't see every day. I don't, think, I don't think they're open them. I'm not sure. Not a lot. Oh. Quite retro now, nice things. Not many left up road, them boys. They all rallied. They're not for sale, guys, so they told me not to. Telling people that never sell, so he's keeping them. But I just thought I'd show you them. Nice bit of a nostalgia there. They're only somebody small, them boys, aren't they? Anyhow, right, get back to Paddy. Uh, back to Cole now. Get his spurs all picked up. Right, people, we're on his way now to Cone to pick the Peugeot up. I'm just going to give a shout out to Colin and John over there. Check their eBay out, French Connection Spares, for all your uh, Peugeot and Citroen stuff. And them boys will sort you stuff. out. Oh yeah, Fusion stuff now. Fusion and Fiesta. <laughs> They'll sort you a few bits out. Good lads to deal with you as well. So uh, check them out on eBay, French Connection Spares. Right, Luke, what have you been on with anyway, out and out? Me? Not a lot. Been it's out on your bike? Been out on my bike. A few 22 miles, didn't you? 22 miles of a day, wasn't it? 22 miles around Cliveroe. Now, uh, he's paying for it with you, aren't you? I've started a diet. You know, just he's on the old it. diet. I'm paying for it now. <laughs> Gotta be done. Yeah, so uh, yo, we appreciate you smashing 7,000 subs as well, guys. Yeah, brilliant, that. Let's get up to 10,000 eh, in the next few months. Let's, let's get it smashed. We're trying to get some more videos out for you, like we did last week. Try and get two or three a week on for you. You're loving it, I know you are. So, it's, what do you say to me? I would say it's just a bit hard when there's not that many cars. I know, there's not much content when cars are quiet, we don't have to really talk about. So, leave some uh, questions in the comments and we'll try and do something else, I don't know. And we've also, we will do one around the house at Acton, now it's all finished. Oh, yeah. So in it now. We'll take you around there, we'll organise that with um, Tenant. Yeah. To go in there and show you around. It looks lovely, actually, it's done a really nice job inside, decorated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got a bit of uh, rendering to do, that's about it really. Yeah, backyard. Summerton now. That's the do. So, right, let's get over to Colm people. See you soon. Right people, we're back. We're at Colm. Uh, car and van dealership here in Colm, up main drag. A friend of ours has had a trade in. Want that old Volvo on me there, big old Volvo. Big antique car. But anyway, the Peugeot's there. Dean's just going to go and organise that and if it starts and drives alright, we can get it back to Paddy and driving it we'll nip up to Cone further up the road here and pick that sleeker shell up or whatever it is with no engine in we haven't forgot about the um, the change in the uh, pot so we're going to see who's close to that and we haven't, we haven't forgot about the Peugeot so we're gonna have, we'll be looking through shortly and we'll give it a winner on here on this video you get the one for the Peugeot, you, uh, you'll win a cup. Uh, the stuff with the, with the change and stuff, we usually just give it to his mum. 
she puts in these little piggy bank things what she has but yeah we'd give it charity starts at home people look after your family first so that's all you can do so like I say we'll give all this change to his mum we always usually do but we'll tell you how much we got and like I said see we got close to that one as well Dean's there no, no. Uh, like I say, if you're interested in vans and cars, everything here is extremely low mileage usually. It's a uh, he's a good lad. But yeah, if it's really low mileage, so if you're after a low mileage van or car, this is your lad you need to come and see at Cone. So right, we'll leave it there. We'll get his Peugeot loaded, and if it doesn't need loading, we'll get up to that other one. See you soon. Right, people, we're back. This is a red Celica. And the seats look all right. Anyway, no engine unboxed. Let's so make sure it's out of gear. Let's double check it's all empty. Can break off. You know, bloody key in it, but. Oh, penny. See a penny pick it up all day long, you'll have some luck. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Let's engine case in it back. Nothing special, I think the alloys are coming back. We'll see. There's no in it. Crap. No bloody key either. Sick. Oh, sorry about swearing. Right, I'll go and see if there's a key for this. I'm on my own, Dean's gone back in that Peugeot, you see. So, the wheels are slightly turned. Might be a big, big hammer out and smash lock off if you haven't got a key. Back with you shortly, people. Right, got the key, luckily, for this one. Right, let's see if we can get it off truck. Is that it, passenger side? One minute, people. Battery winch is getting a bit. Winch remote battery is getting a bit low. Easy as that, people. Right. Oh. Undergrowth's come with. That's the next one, the van. Let's have a quick look at it. HDI. Old scrapper. Don't think it's out in it. Nice and empty. Let's see if there's a cat on it. Oh, yes, you've got original cat on. About 60 quid, which is not so bad. Cats are not the best at the minute, even though everyone's asking for them. Have a quick look through it, quick route. That's it, a bit of a push chair. That's it in this one. Right, we'll get the Toyota done. Back with you soon when I come for this van. Right, people, we're just at EMR now. Luke's there with his RVs on. The sleeker's going on. He's going to do us a favour and just chop the cat off for us, and not he doesn't. Have you shown this cat being chopped off? Can do, no engine on it, like. Put the wheels back on the floor. Yeah, it was here. Five in one, thank God. Main man Liam. Liam, my man. He's going to show you how you chop these cats off. There she blows. Hopefully, she might be a decent one. Have you not been in the cup yet, Lou? I'll wait for you and your missus printed. We've got the main man of cup, Aaron, because he's one at main man. Hashtag rave this lad. One at main man. <laughs> he has to earn his keep, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it could be a decent one this, you know, but say that then. It's going to be a lot of shit. Yeah, it's a one chop in one chop, and I think oh, it should be that. It's going to be a nice easy one, that. 
a look. One minute. This machine, battery power machine, we've got here for chopping gaps for this. Milwaukee battery power cutter. You're going to have to do this now. You're going to have to play the Jaws music on edit to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy on Terminator. Stand back. So a battery powered uh, bit of kit. The good piece of kit is that. I think Fiber Gear do them as well. Any gas up cat, Dino? Yeah. Any gas up cat? Yeah. 85 quid. What are you guessing on it, what do you reckon just to be looking at it there? Ooh. 65. 65. 65 to 68. I'm going to go 95. We'll see you in a second. Right, back with you soon, people. Well, people, we're back at EMR. As you can see, there's a big mountain with a uh, Scrap metal in there, full of trolleys and girders and all sorts of random things. I wonder if there's an no old quid left in one of the trolleys. <laughs> We're here now with a big Peugeot box on the back. Them two lazy buggers are sat in there probably. We'll just go after dinner, right? Go after dinner. All he, do is more for, all he does is morph about him. <laughs> He's not ready to head him. Cracked up. Um, so I'll look. What we have is have a, what we have is all, all that, so I can't get out. So Luke's gonna undo the uh, winch and the wheel straps, and uh, we'll get it lifted off and see what this cat's worth. Hopefully, it might be eighty quid, hundred quid. Hopefully, or the uh, auto cat, which is here, is a. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Exo four. Roughly about 150 to 160 I'm getting on that. It might be worth a little bit more, but that's what I'm getting for that. The XO freezer worth a bit more. They're about 300 and odd quid, but I think they're pretty rare to get them. So I just thought I'd tell you that. Um, not much happening at yard, car side of things, pretty quiet. But it's the way it goes. Right, just gonna lift this car off. Old Astra. I'll tell you what I'm gonna have to do guys, I'm gonna have to write one of these sheets out because I haven't got a logbook for it. I have to fill these sheets out. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll be back with you shortly. Well we've just got the VIN number now, Aaron now, we're gonna lift it up. Same again boys and girls on the uh, inspection ramp to get the cat chopped off, get it corded and get it in the bank. Still rotten as a bloody pair. Aaron says it's an aftermarket piss off, Aaron. Scrap everywhere. No, These are taking piss here. <laughs> Great. Back with you for this shot shortly when we price this up. Right, people, we're back home now. I'm going to count this money for you. See who's got the closest. Like I looked at previously. We had to give us change, my mum anyway, for her spending money when she goes to the pound shop. Um, the custom's still there, it wasn't like I said earlier on, it were on eBay, but eBay stuck everything off because they haven't supplied some correct information or something, but it is for sale. If I can get somewhere near four grand for it, it's gone. There's also a chap, I think he's a subscriber, asking about this green Fiesta, I think it's this one. 
it is for sale or if someone i think it might have been a bangle i bought the engine if you want to come and take the engine out you're more than welcome to right i'm going to flick lights on its head get this money counted and see what's in there and i'm going to do the shout out for the uh the winner for the cup for the peugeot what it weighed in for so right two seconds Right people, I'm going to see my shed now, turn lights on, it might be a bit flashy, I'm not sure. But anyway, I've counted out the money for the uh, what we found in the scrap cars. There's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. My mum would enjoy this, down at Poundland. <laughs> There's a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 quid, and an old pound coin. You can't do nothing with them, I don't think, anymore. So, for, for rooting under a couple of seats and stuff every time we get a car, it's not too bad. Um, also shout out to uh, One second let's get it on For the winner John Welburn £192.15 for the old puggy put uh, Which is the closest It was 194 We had a 196 and a 192 But he won it by the 15p So <coughs> Excuse me Well done John Give us a, give us a, uh, a message or If you're on the Facebook group I'll leave a link in it anyway Get yourself added to that people and that's about it. Before you go, I've got my new mate here, look. Got it in the engineering job lot. An old mink scarf. <laughs> Anyone want it? Keep it warm. Still got his little feet on it, look. But, uh, what do you reckon, guys? Does it suit me? <laughs> like Quella de Ville now. <laughs> right, new mascot, that. Let's name the mascot. What can we call the mascot? It's a mink, let's call it. Mick the mink or something like that. Leave a comment. But jokes aside, appreciate you subscribing. Keep commenting, smashing that subscribe button. Like every video we put on. Uh, leave plenty of comments so we can get back to you and answer them all. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.